Let's talk about LBBB or left bundle branch block. In the previous video, I've talked about RBBB or right bundle branch block. And if you remember the conduction pathway from there, this is the right bundle branch, this is the left bundle branch. So in LBBB, the conduction through the left bundle branch is obliterated, resulting into delayed left ventricular depolarization. This delayed left ventricular depolarization leads to a special type of characteristic finding in the ECG which we will discuss in this video. So if you know that the left lateral leads are represented by lead 1, AVL, V5 and V6. Now the left bundle branch block pattern will be found in these leads, the left lateral leads. If we take a look at the V6 here, you can see that the QRS complex is wide and the T is depressed. This is a characteristic finding of the LBBB on the left lateral leads. Wide QRS and ST depression along with T inversion. You may also come across the RSR dash pattern or the notching pattern that I have discussed in the RBBB in the left lateral leads, but that is not very common in LBBB. In LBBB, you will more often than not find the wide QRS pattern. One more important thing uh, that I want to mention before I uh, finish this video is that in LVVB you will see that the precordial leads V1, V2, V3 have deep S webs along with that the ST segment is also elevated. Do not confuse that with STEMI, anterior wall STEMI. Do not confuse that at all with anterior wall STEMI. These are common findings in the LVVB. If you want to differentiate uh, STEMI or ST segment elevation from true ST segment elevation from a normal LBBB pattern then you'll have to take a look at the Garboza criteria.